Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the newly revealed Scarlet and Violet cards. Um, or, they're not exactly, the, not the entire cards were revealed. Some parts of the cards that were revealed and like the mechanic that we're going to be getting for the Scarlet and Violet um, sets in the Pokemon trading card game has been revealed. Um, so, here's the trailer. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description if you want to watch it yourself. I'm just going to be skipping to um, important parts in it, but if you want to watch the entire trailer by yourself, it's a really cool trailer. I will link it in the description. Um, so, um, without further ado, the um, newly revealed mechanic is going to be Pokemon EX right here. We can see EX. So, um, it's a lowercase EX. It's not uppercase EX, so they're kind of going back in style um, to the old EXs from Gen 3. Um, but we've already seen a couple um, of these EXs. There has been the Koridon and Muridon um, EX revealed. You can just go ahead and play this. I don't want to blast your ears. I don't know if um, this is super loud, so I'm just going to mute it. Um, you can see parts of them right here. Um, and oh, there's a certain part of about these. Um, where is it? It's right here, I think, where you can go in and read them. Um, well, there's, I don't know, there's some part, yeah, so, anyway, these guys, um, they have this specific, um, they, they each have an ability, um, and their specific ability is, um, has a blank spot in it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try and find this again. Um, all right, let's see. So their abilities have a blank spot in them. They're, I knew there was a part where you could see them. Um, I'm just going to talk about this while we let this play and see if I can find it. Okay, so there we've seen a Mimikyu EX, a Lucario EX, and a Magnazone EX. Magnazone EX we know almost everything about, so I'll talk about that one for sure. Um, but they can be, um, EXs can be both lowercase, or sorry, EX can be both basics, Stage 1s and Stage 2s, so they're like, once again, like the old EXs, they give up two prizes, and according to, um, according to Pokemon, here, this is where we can see them, um, according to Pokemon, um, they will do, they have high HP that rivals VMAXs, and we can see on the Magnezone, that ha the Magnezone has 330 HP, the um, Mimikyu is 190 HP, and the Lucario is 260 HP, um, so they have HP, HP that, revive, that rivals VMAXs, um, and um, high damage for a low amount of energy. Um, or it just maybe just they, their attacks cost low energy, one of those. Um, but here's the Koridon and Mirodon EX. Um, and we can see I, something that I really like here actually is that they've kind of taken the style of Sun and Moon cards and the style of Sword and Shield cards and the style of X and Y and Black and White cards and kind of combined them all into one style. So we can see like the um, basic symbol up here or like the evolution symbol up here is similar to that of Black and White. Um, and we also see that the ability um, logo is very similar to um, Sword and Shield and Sun and Moon. They kind of combine both of them. Um, but the other cool thing is that, um, like EX, is they have like a art box now. With the V's, it was kind of just art, and they put words on top of it. Um, but now they actually have an art box, and it actually is a little bit see-through. Like you can see me right on his legs here. Um, so it's a little bit see-through. So I think it's really cool that they kind of combined both of them, but they still really feel like the old EXs, um, or the uppercase EXs. Um, they do feel like both the uppercase and the lowercase EXs in a lot of ways, but they also, they also look in art style like um, Vs as well. Um, so this is kind of cool. But looking at these Koridon and Mirrodon EXs, um, I don't know if you can read this here, but Dino Cry, it says once during your turn, you may search your deck, or just or attach up three basic, and then there's like a little blank. You can see the, like the three, I don't know, this is, this is very low quality. Um, like you can see a little bit, like three here, three and basic, and then there's like a large space here. Um, and this large space is means that this ability to target something, it could be a type of Pokemon, it could be a, um, like the Terra Stall type. We haven't um, seen what the Terra Stall are gonna be so, um, explicitly, like they haven't revealed any explicit Terra Stall cards yet, um, but I do have a theory on that, and I'll get to that um, a little bit. Um, we can see there's a little, sp little bit of space here to either target the type that um, um, this one's Koridon, yeah. Um, so I either target the type that um, Koridon is. Um, and this says, um, once your turn, you may attach up to three basic, um, any blank energy cards from your discard pile um, to your basic blank Pokemon any way you like. If you use this ability, your turn ends. Um, 
So this thing is gonna be Intrepid Sword. Also, something um, is that we it's almost it's all but confirmed that Koridon and Mirrodon um, EX do evolve um, because of um, they revealed another like I don't remember its name. It's like something. It's it's something, it's some pun with bike or motor or something. Um, but it's basically like a smaller version of these guys that have wheels. Um, and um, it's like, it looks very similar to the Karaidon and Mirrodon. Um, so the, they probably will evolve to at least stage ones, which does make these guys' ability a little bit less broken, I think. Um, now the um, Mirrodon EX's ability tandem unit also has a weird spaces in it where it's a specific type or a specific type of Pokemon, um, once in your turn, you may, so, so for the tandem unit um, ability, once in your turn, um, you may search your deck for up to three basic, and then you can see the blank here, Pokemon, and put them onto your bench, and then shuffle your deck. That's what this ability says. It probably will target the same thing that this ability does. Um, so it either tar targets like a terrorist, like the terrorist all phenomenon Pokemon, or it it targets the type that these guys will be. Now they have hidden the types. You cannot see there's no types there. They have also hidden the evolutions, um, a lot like on um, the Solgaleo and Lunology Xs. When those were first revealed, they hid the evolution, the attack costs, um, the HP, and everything. Um, these have also have the HP hidden, the type, and everything. Um, but we do know what the attacks at least say. They both have the exact same attack. Um, at least right now, they look like they, they have the exact same attack. One of these might cost different energy, but for an amount of energy, we have Wild Impact and Photon Blaster. Both do 220 damage, and then during your um, next turn, this Pokemon can't attack, so it's like Brave Blade. Um, I would have honestly liked them to see a little, be a little bit more creative with these attacks. Like, I feel like you could have easily given, like, Mirrodon a cooler attack, um, or Karayana a different attack. Um, but, you know, maybe that's just me being nitpicky. Maybe it will be fine in the end. Um... So yeah, these are the Corridon and Mirrodon. We also see they've hidden the resistance weakness and retreat. So up now they have free retreat. And you know that because they are um, confirmed to be modes of transport in the Scarlet and Violet video games, they might actually end up being or having free retreat um, because in the video games you move around with them. Maybe they're easy to move around in the TCG. Who knows? Um, well, let's just um, continue playing this video. Um, and okay, so this is the next thing I want to talk about. But first I want to go to these um, other... Yeah, so they revealed. So here's the Magma Zone. Um, okay, so here, here's the Magma Zone. You can see it has. You can actually see almost everything about the card here. I believe um, the weakness is also Fighting Times Two, um, but this um, does. So it's also um, confirmed that it's not like Break Pokemon. So Lucario EX does not evolve from Lucario. It evolves from Riolu because you can see the little Riolu here in the corner. Um, so they're not like Break Pokemon. They do evolve directly, um, like GXs um, and lowercase EXs, um, but the um, Magma Zone um, has an attack for one Lightning Energy, Energy to Crush, 50 damage, 50 damage for each energy attached to all your opponent's Pokemon, so like the Lux Ray from Million Stars, um, and then we have two Lightning Energy, Pulse Launcher 220, it does 32 itself. Now, um, if we can go back here, we can see the HP on this Magma Zone is 330, right there, 330 HP. It's giant. You can see it also evolves from Magneton once again, like the Lucario evolves from Riolu. Um, and at some point you're able to see here that it does it does have fighting weakness times two. I don't know if you can see that the times and then a two. We can go back here on the video. And see there's a little bit of a times two um, right there. There you can see it right there, times two. Um, so the weakness is going to be times two on all these, not plus or 30, like plus 30 like it was in the past. Um, here you can see the attack's a little bit clearer. It looks like the same fonts like they didn't change anything about the font obviously but yeah lightning energy cost 50 for each energy lightning lightning pulse launcher 220 32 itself um now the lucario all we know about the lucario is that it is a stage one it has 260 hp it's fighting type and it has an attack that does 60 damage if we can go back here um uh, there 60 damage that's all we know that it has an attack that does 60 damage um and then we have no there is a second attack this is probably it's like one energy maybe 60 damage and then the Mimikyu, I'm not sure if we can actually read anything on the Mimikyu. Um, let's see. So, yeah, we can't really read anything, but maybe we'll be able to read something here. Maybe we can read something here. Um, so, yeah, so something, you can see a number right here. 
Um, I've heard rumors that this number is 10 damage um, for one energy, I think. Yes, yeah, so we can just see a zero, which makes sense for a Pokemon card, obviously. Everything has a zero at the end on Pokemon, but um, I've heard rumors that this is a 10 damage, and Mimikyu is, of course, going to be a basic. It does have 190 HP. You can see the little basic symbol up there in the Mimikyu name, of course. Lucario. Um and the uh, Magnezone. Um, now here's the last thing I want to talk about, and this is the next part of the trailer, is this part with the, um, an another logo of EX. So we have this here, they're like, oh my gosh, look, it's another mechanic. Oh my gosh, it's EX, and they are crystallized, like crystal EXs. Now if you know Scarlet and Violet, you know the mechanic in this gen is going to be Terra Stall Pokemon that are um, crystallized themselves, and you get like type changes and things. Well, here we see a logo that is identical to the logo right over here. Um, logo that is identical to right here. This is very anticlimactic. Where is it? I do not know. This one. So it's, it looks very similar to this logo right here. Um, as you can see in the little picture there. Um, it's the exact same logo except it has crystal instead um, and they don't show anything past this they're just like oh my gosh look it's crystal there's crystal all around it and then it goes black um, and here is my speculation on this I think this is how they're going to incorporate the Terrastyle type um, or the Terrastyle phenomena of Pokemon um, into the TCG because they didn't reveal anything else about the Terrastyle Pokemon and obviously that's the main thing about um, the main mechanic in Sarah the Violets. They're going to have to integrate it into the TCG in some way, and maybe they're going to have a different, separate subset of EX that are Terrastall type, um, that are like the same Pokemon like, um, as before, except they just have a different type. So maybe we'll get a um, Magnezone um, that is like water type or something. I don't know. Um, now, another supporting factor for this is if we go into the trailer from 2019, um, which um, this is when they revealed um, these, as we can see here, we can mute this. Um, as you can see, when they reveal these, like, oh my gosh, these, this is like the, the equivalent of what they did with like the, the uh, Coridon and Miradon and Lucario and stuff in the new trailer. Um, and then they show the V logo, um, just like they do with the um, EX logo. Um, and then what happens is... Um, the V logo like goes Super Saiyan and it bursts and gets all powerful. Now this, um, as we now know, it was V Maxes and um, but as you can see, once again, logo that's very similar to the one from before. It's very similar to this logo. Obviously, it's like the exact same thing, like the EXs, except it has a different like middle pattern and it looks more fancy, just like how the EX looks more fancy. Um, and then they tease um, V Maxes with 330 HP. Um, so we don't get this part, this like kind of like teasing a card that has like a giant stat on it. Um, but we do get the same kind of idea of the logo changes from the standard one to a really cool, sparkly, special one. Um, and so that's what I think is going on here. I think this is going to be how they represent the Terrastall Pokemon. But um, what do you think? Um, let me know in the comments um, because I'm really, um, I'm really keen to know what everyone thinks about this new um, mechanic. Um, I'm definitely super excited for it. Um, if I do end up going to the Portland regionals that was announced, these are going to be legal. So um, if you're going to Portland or any regionals after February, you're going to need to know these cards. So let me know what you what you think. And yeah, let's do it, do it for the video, guys. If you guys liked it, don't forget to leave a like. If you guys want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.